this morning at 840. And we got to welcome in John Gonzalez and Amy Sherman, co-hosts of Behind the Mitten that runs Sunday morning at 7 right here on today's Hits 95.3 CFX, talking cool stuff all around Michigan. Well, first, happy Pi Day today. Happy Pi Day. What a great now, day. Now, be- before we get to all things pie, we got to talk about Sunday show. So Sunday morning, you are. I, it's it's two words, John said, maple syrup. This is correct. John is right. It's all about maple syrup festivals that are happening all across the state of Michigan over the next actual couple months. Everybody kind of thinks that most of them are going to happen over the next two weeks, which is when the sugar bushing is happening, when they're actually tapping the trees and gathering the sap. But for a couple of our festivals, they're not happening until April. And I'm going to let Gonzo give you the scoop on all of it. You probably know about the uh, most famous one in your area, the Shepherd maple syrup festival that's taking place april 25th through the 28th um but they also have like a sneak preview of it taking place next weekend march 23rd and march 24th so you definitely want to know about that but but the rest of the whole show is is like like amy says we check in all over the state but we have one interview with our webmaster that i think will shed new light of what it's like to to actually get in to the business of procuring maple syrup (laughs) okay so a rookie is what you're saying (laughs) <laughs> yeah, business might be a, a stretch. It's more like a hobby for him. But it's super interesting to hear how he got involved and how you can do it yourself. And it's really kind of affordable to do it. And it's just, plus he's just funny. So it's Jeff Bailey, the webmaster for Behind the Mitten. He'll be sharing his expertise on maple syrup on this weekend's show. <laughs> well, you know, I have a brother and I have a uh, a nephew who both cook maple syrup in the UP. So uh, uh, when I go up this weekend, I'll get an update on the UP maple syrup situation for you too. And I'll be able to let you know what's happening there on whether or not they're cooking or not. Thank you. Thank you. Please share it with awesome. behind the Okay. So let's see. I can check maple syrup off the list. Oh, that brings us to pie. <laughs> it yep. is, it is pie day today. Uh, March 14th, 314. So we're at Breakfast Flakes. We are celebrating all things pie this morning. Of course, we switched it to P-I-E, mm-hmm. you know, eatable pie this morning. So on our Facebook page, we threw this question up there. We're looking for pie-tastic inventions. So if you could combine pie with another dessert or treat and make some ultimate pie fusion thing, what would it be? <laughs> Gonzo, I, I want to have to say i have a prediction of what you're gonna say <laughs> well i'm thinking of like the the perfect wet burrito you know collection what what a wet burrito or taco you know like deep dish a Ooh. deep dish <laughs> wet burrito there, there you go That'd actually I'd, i like deep that one that, that, that comes in second place to mind because i'm not a pie fan so but i like i like where he's going with the whole anti-pie pie thing I I knew you were gonna pick something with tacos. I'm like, he's doing something with tacos. <laughs> the okay. blood. Amy. Okay, so guys, as you know, I used to be a chef and I used to be a pastry chef for a really long time. So I'm gonna let you in on a secret, okay? The ultimate dessert combination is a parfait, right? Because I think I've told you this before, if the pastry chef screws something up, she's gonna put it layered in a beautiful glass dish with a lot of whipped cream and so <laughs> you drop the pie or the crust doesn't look right or it just didn't turn out you chop that stuff up and you whip and whip it up with some whipped cream and you make a parfait and gonzo i'm thinking of the cherry pie parfait that you've had at the national cherry festival every year that you love so much that's the ultimate pie combination no ultimate pie combination <laughs> is the pie cake <laughs> I it oh, is, I've made that before. Yeah. It is. It is. So you got a layer of cake on the bottom, then you put a pie on there. Then you put another layer of cake and you put a pie on there and a third final layer of cake and you frost the whole thing. It is pretty decadent. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see where you're going with it. Okay. Wet burrito layer, enchilada <laughs> layer, taco layer, topped Cheap. off with. Okay, so so we do John's pie for like dinner, mm-hmm. and then my pie cake for dessert. Ooh, I, yeah, I, that I mean, would work. And then Amy's <laughs> Amy's dessert for like a real good dessert, or when you screw up. <laughs> now wait a minute. So what you're saying is, if I go somewhere and get a parfait, something somebody screwed something up, and that's why I got it. Correct. 
<laughs> Seven o'clock Sunday morning behind the mitten. Have an awesome weekend. Appreciate your time this morning, as always. Thanks, guys. <laughs>